It's a petty blue sky here, perfect for racing here in Avondale, Arizona, here at the Phoenix Raceway. Race number two, round two of season number five for the APC. Yes, this is our fourth race here at this venue. We had two in season one and one race in season number two, so we'll see what it's going to be like here today this is the first time that we've raced here with the next gen cars the last three times that we raced at this facility it was with the gen 6 cars alex bowman kevin harvick and brad keselowski were the ones to take home the victory in those races be sure to like comment and subscribe make sure that you are up to date with the apcs and all of its events Last weekend, it was a very wild start to the season at Daytona for the Daytona 500 for the fifth season of this series. Now we go all the way west to Phoenix, Arizona in the desert. Going to see who will take home the victory today. A lot of drivers in the field. Let's get to meet just a few of them. Josh Berry is sitting on pole, the number four car. Very, very successful here at this racetrack. Has won a championship here in the first ever season of this series so we'll see what the number four uh of josh berry will be able to do and now a little bit farther down the line it's the 12 car of ryan blaney looking to rebound after a horrible tumble down the back stretch at daytona last weekend let's look at it take a look at it here you see, coming off a turn at number two, he got washed up from Ross Chastain, got hit in the rear bumper by his buddy Bubba Wallace, and that sent him in the air and started tumbling up and over. And it was a nasty, nasty crash. DNF that race, obviously, but his teammate Joey Logano rebounded for a solid finish there that weekend. Can Ryan Blaney do the same and come home with possibly a victory? He came close to victory here before. And then another victor from this track in the previous season. It's Alex Bowman in the 48. We haven't talked about him in quite a long time. His last victory was at North Wilkesboro in season three. That was 22 races ago. Can he snap his winless streak? We'll have to wait and see what he'll be able to do. He's got his work cut out for him. He's starting deep in the field. And we see the cars rolling off here. Let's get to your starting lineup. Josh Berry and Chase Briscoe, SHR teammates on the front row with Rowdy Kyle Busch to the inside of Ryan Blaney in row number two. And then we got row number three with Tyler Reddick and Ross Chastain, your defending series champion. And then back here in row number four, we have Kyle Larson and new to the 10 this season, Noah Gregson. And in row number five, right behind them, it's Christopher Bell and Martin Trix Jr. And then in row six, we have Joey Logano and the rookie of Ty Gibbs. Now the rest of your field will be going by on your screen. As we see here, Chase Elliott, your, defense, your uh, last week's winner at Daytona, the Daytona 500 champion to the, inside of, uh, to the outside of his teammate, William Byron. And then, of course, uh, the rest of the field here. Uh, Daniel Suarez finished third in the Daytona 500. He didn't qualify too well here today. He won the last mile track that we raced at, so we'll see what he'll be able to do. Last couple rows here as we see Ricky Zanos Jr. and Carson Hosevar in row 15. Todd Gillen and John Hunter Nemechek will round out the field in the 16th row. Let's get to your race facts here presented by Spoiler Diecast. Josh Berry sits on pole 13 laps here at this track. The last winner that we had here at this track was Brad Keselowski back in Season 2. And if you head on down over to Spoiler Diecast and use code AAPCS at checkout, you can save 5% off and free shipping on all orders that are $20 or more. And now going through turns 3 and 4, looking to take the green flag here. SHR leads them to the line. We're racing here in the desert. Already making moves. You see Josh Berry slides up the track. His teammate and Kyle Busch take over the, the race lead. Kyle Busch takes over the race lead. Briscoe in second place. And Berry's going to continue to fall back as Blaney's taking over the third spot. Now here comes Chase Briscoe on Kyle Busch. He's going to take over the lead. He won early in season number four last season. We'll see what he'll be able to do here at Phoenix as Chase Briscoe had Kyle Busch all over his rear bumper. 
And out here in the back, Josh Berry fading even more as Kyle Larson is making his way up through the field. He missed the playoffs last season. He's looking to rebound from a bad season from season number four as he gets around Blaney up into P number three. Briscoe still leading into three and four. And here comes Kyle Larson on Kyle Busch. Takes over P number two and he's in second place trying to hunt down and chase Briscoe. Oh, and there's a caution. Burton hard into the outside wall in turns three and four up against the outside wall. Let's take a look and see what happened here. And it looks like, yeah, Corey LaJoy ran him over going into the corner. Maybe the 21 checked up a bit more than LaJoy had thought he was going to. And that spun him around. But nonetheless, the 7 just looks like he straight up dumped the 21 car. Yeah, you can see it there. He hit the inside wall first. And that shot him up the track and went into the outside wall. That is going to hurt. But uh, LaJoy will be able to continue on. But Harrison Burton is going to the garage area. So the 21 may not be too happy with the 7. As we see the choose cone here. We got Chase Briscoe on the inside. Kyle Larson... Starting right behind him, he might be able to dive bomb through the dog leg. Green flags back in the air. Here he comes. Here comes Kyle Larson. Four white for a moment. Contact between leaders. Briscoe goes, goes up the track. Here comes Kyle Bush. Now he went from third all the way to first as he's going to clear Kyle Larson coming off of turn number four. Through the dog leg they go. Kyle Bush trying to lead here at Phoenix once again. He wants some revenge after Daytona after blowing up. Here comes Larson down to the inside to the race lead. About halfway through this race now, Larson with the race lead and Kyle Bush right behind him. Now here's some radio from Blaney. Yeah, I'm really liking our room. I'm going anywhere. My exits are so f loose. Really loose on exits as here comes Ross Chastain trying to get around him. Blaney's going to try and hold him up and there's contact up into the wall goes the one. The one's going to shove the 12, the 12 up the track and through turns three and four he takes over that spot. And now Kyle Busch trying to make it. Oh, and there's a crash behind them. The 10 of Noah Gregson hard into the outside wall through the dog leg. Looked like it was off the nose of William Byron. Let's take a look at it here on the replay. Yeah, it looks like Noah Gregson thought he was clear and went up the track and got hooked off of the nose of the 24. You can see the 48 of Bowman shooting down to the inside trying to avoid it. And yeah, that was a hard hit into the outside wall. For the 10 car of Noah Gregson, he is going to be out for the day. William Byron is going to be able to get out unscathed other than a few scuffs on his left front fender. But we see the choose count here. I know we got a car stalled. It's Daniel Suarez. He's going to get a, a push from a safety worker. No power for the 99, that seems. So he seems to be done for the rest of the day. But it's going to be three laps to go on the restart. Green flag back in the air. It's the Kyle and Kyle show featuring Tyler Reddick down to the inside. Three wide for a moment there as Larson's trying to cross him over going down the back stretch side by side for the race lead. Larson takes it over with two laps to go. Here comes Kyle Busch in the number eight car down to the inside. Slides up the track. He's going to fall back a little bit. Now going through turns three and four. Looking to take the white flag. Bush is looking down to the inside. Here he comes. The eight car taking over the race lead he's gonna slide up the track once again Larson trying to find a way around him and coming in through turns three and four for the final time up the track they go contact sliding sideways and it's Kyle Busch who takes home the victory in the desert here in Phoenix and what a way to get your sixth career win in this series that is the most of all time drivers in this series Kyle Busch takes it home over Kyle Larson the Kyle and Kyle show Coming down to the line, side by side. And through turns three and four, you see Larson trying to send it in deep. It did not work out. He just missed it by a bumper. So obviously the bumper was used to bump him out of the way. And it wasn't enough. Burning it down on the front stretch. Kyle Busch is your winningest driver in the APCS. Here are your results here. Kyle Busch and Kyle Larson, as well as Tyler Reddick, make up your top three with Chastain and Gibbs. Rounding out the top five. And then over here, Chase Elliott's finishing ninth here today. Your Daytona 500 winner. Off to a great start to his season. Alex Bowman from 20th all the way up into 11th from the start of the race. And Daniel Suarez, after losing power under caution, finishes 30th here today. Could have been a top 15 or something, but was unable to maintain the power in order to finish strong here today 
Now the point standings are going to be shaken up here just a little bit after this race. Let's take a look at them here. Chase Elliott still leading the standings here with 60 points to his name. About 9 points between him and Joey Logano who is sitting second here today. Kyle Busch, your winner from today's race, gets fifth, uh, is now 15th in the standings right behind the rookie of Josh Berry. So, uh, and remember, the 12 top 12 drivers in points make it into the postseason and race in the last five races of the season to determine who will be the champion of the APCS in season number five. And that will all be hosted at Homestead Miami Speedway for the 15th race of the season, the championship race, as a matter of fact. But we hope you guys did enjoy this race here in the desert. Here at Phoenix, Kyle Busch, your victor. Six total wins in his name here in this series. So he is the winningest driver in this series. Just above four different drivers. Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney, Kevin Harvick, and Brad Keselowski. Those are the four drivers that are tied for the second most wins of all time in this series so uh let's let's see who could either match or break that record here in the series at the nebraska speedway hendrick has dominated that track ever since we started going there so maybe a hendrick car could come home victorious at nebraska be sure to like comment and subscribe to know when that race goes live to figure that out and we'll see you all there